Back at it. Seek, speak truth. Let's take a deeper look at this John Hopkins Hospital website. And, um, you know, the uh, point of emphasis is on the uh, John Hopkins because we know that they had the event 201, a uh, meeting that they had in 2019 in regards to the uh, simulating a pandemic, which is where the term pandemic comes from, because these people plan this event. We see all the puppets at the table. We see all of the heads of the uh, corporations all involved. All of the information is going to be in a link that I'm going to leave in the description. And then we go back to the uh, John Hopkins website where they have a commentary on the adverse side effects of the COVID-19 ad adenovirus-based vaccines. You see, they keep coming up with these fancy words that, you know, they're just retarded. Whatever that adenovirus means, it's just some bullshit to throw you off because you'll get caught up in trying to pronounce the damn word, which is a spell, instead of already comprehending and knowing that it doesn't matter how it's pronounced, whether it's correct or not. Because the whole guise is to trick your mind into going for it, okay? Extraordinary, uncommon, but severe adverse events have occurred during the rollout of the Azima Once again, we see the wordplay here. The vaccine, basically, in Europe and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the U.S. So they got different vaccines that they're uh, implementing. And they stay during a mass vaccination campaign. Very uncommon adverse events are observed more acutely because of the large number of people vaccinated in a short period of time. We have an effective adverse event surveillance system, and it's critical that we continue to rely on the system and we weigh the benefits and risk associated with COVID vaccines. So we can see the uh, plotting and the scheming behind this. With John Hopkins being involved, the ties to, we see it was sponsored, one of the sponsors was Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, at the time they were still married, we, we know recently that they reportedly have divorced. Um, so, I mean, you have two people that are heavily involved with this, that if something happened between them that wasn't trustworthy, obviously, or well, wasn't agreed upon. It was something that was irreconcilable to where, it, you know, it caused them to divorce. So both of them are suspect. And then we can see that this simulation, the coronavirus simulation, Event 201, where they simulate a, a pandemic, we can see that it's, it's just another business plan <clears throat> and we're talking about groups of people who their their business is not necessarily the the actual business that they're involved with directly it's more indirectly with the business of being a puppet to help program and control the minds of the men and women because under this mind control and this programming they can have a simulation which is based on the the language itself. Okay, they structured the language, they structured the calendar. We know um, everyone and everything in their simulation is tied to a number, which is tied basically to the calendar, to the date. Everyone has a birthday, everyone has an age. 
Everyone has a height. Everyone has a weight. You understand me? It's like they have assigned numbers to what we have agreed upon to indicate a day, a week, a month, a year, all based on the, the calendar system that they provided with this month is named this and that month is named this. and This is how they able to orchestrate the backdrop of reality and just pretty much fit different puzzle pieces in which is just like editing and making a movie to where, okay, I'm going to put this here, this here. I'm going to use this person on this date, and we're going to have this we set up with this person. Okay, we're going to have this event on this day. It's like these people are planning and scheming. They've been doing this the whole time. Like we've been living in this fake-ass reality that they set up that's actually a simulation. And we see that part of the plan that they had for this this era, you know, 2020, 2019, the corona, COVID-19, the coronavirus, 2019, you know, it was implemented then to go into effect. 2020 went through it all last year, been going through it all this year. We see all the terms that they had associated with this, um, you know, you need a face mask, you need six feet separation, double masking, the Delta variant, the... Uh, Theta variant, whatever new fucking variant they want to come out with is already indicated. It's already part of the, the language that they're going to use to where now they have uh, implemented these so-called mandates. Like, fuck a mandate. It's like, you don't tell me what the fuck to do. I don't give a damn about no damn mandate. So like, I don't respect no mandate. It's a clever way to try to tell a man or woman what they what they can and can't do which is it has no legal binding it's, it's, it's it, it could be unjust it's kind of at the discretion of the the entity that wants to implement it and it's pretty much just like in a business where you have a mandate where you have to wear safety goggles to go inside of the warehouse when it, you know when you're in an actual warehouse you have to have these goggles on you know it's the same thing as that it's the same implementation because it's a corporation that's doing it like we're being controlled by corporations having us think oh this is our country no this is your corporation okay and that's the only way they can tell you what to do because you are a dummy puppet in a in a corporation you are a character your, your all caps name is a is a what they call a straw man which is a fucking dummy okay that's been brainwashed into thinking that it's dumb Right, and the straw man in the Wizard of Oz series, didn't, didn't he always come out with some very interesting things, but then he was he thought he was dumb, like, well, there you go. So, you know, you question it, but then you go for the shit. You question and go for it. You realize what's going on, and then you go back to sleep and, and, and go back to being a dummy, forgetting. <clears throat> and now we... Um, we can see clearly, I'm leaving the links in the description of these uh, sites and these uh, articles and this information so you can go and review this and see for yourself what's going on.